Good afternoon everyone out there on YouTube. My name is Jared and this is my channel, Mazda B3K. In this video, we are going to work on unsticking seats and seat belts on my new to me Ford F250, currently nicknamed Miss Mildew. Due to the amount of water that got in, things have rusted in place and we got to break it loose and get it moving again. Without further ado, let's get started. So in this truck, we've got, at least in the front, we've got a bunch of buckles that are kind of like this, where they're not doing their full motion, or they're kind of sticky. This one I fixed earlier this morning, but as you can see, it doesn't really want to let go, and I want to see if we can improve that. As you can see, this one here is stuck in the down position. And then when we get to the seat rails, you can see... The grab bar here is pretty rusty. And if you actually take a look at the rails themselves, they're kind of rusty, kind of sticky. That is something I want to fix. So this video is going to be about the tools and the tricks to try to get this stuff moving. Uh, mainly some lubricants, some swearing, and uh, some picks and other tools and see we can't get these things at least functional again so that I don't have to worry about replacing them because when I'm working on older cars that are beat up, that are used, I don't care if they're kind of beat up, but I do care if they're not safe. So this is something that I'm going to fix. First thing I'm going to do on this guy is I'm thinking either the spring is worn out or it's rusted, but in either case... I'm going to put a little bit of PP Blaster in there. Then, I'm going to work it. And also, see, that seems to be helping a little bit. See, we can't lift this up to the top of the travel. Like that. I just heard it click. And then keep working it up and down and see if we can't loosen it up enough to work correctly. We found a screw wedged in here and it could be this thing is just busted and they put the screw in there to turn off the seatbelt warning to trick it basically and uh, may just have to get a new one of these but I'll keep working on it see what I get. All right I need to clean this up but check it out. So here is our shoulder strap locks in it will let go and know the button doesn't come all the way back up but when you go put it in again it does click and lock and it will release so this is functional so i'm going to go ahead and move on to the middle and passenger seats see what i can do with those okay for the middle so the middle goes all the way down, it comes back up, but it's crunchy, so need some lubrication. I'm going to get some PB Blaster in there, and when I mean spray it in there, I quite literally mean spray it in there. So something kind of like this. Just get it down in there. Bonus if the... Uh, button is up all the way so you can get full access to the buckle mechanism and after you get some sprayed in there just work it so you can't get some stuff loosened up presuming that rust is the problem and then I follow this up with some lithium grease so that it will stay unstuck and that's pretty much all I'm going to do there Here's a little bit more interesting because this isn't moving at all. So we'll get there in a second. All right, so I hit this with PP Blaster and that helped some. And then I hit it with lithium grease and that helped a lot. And now, I can plug this in, locks just fine. And when you go to push it, 
it releases very easily now before I had to fight with it. But now we're good to go. Another issue I had, and you can see the discoloration here on the belt, this is where the middle buckle had sat for a couple of years and it actually had kind of rust welded itself to the belt. And the way I fixed that is I just took the buckle or the tongue right here. And you can see that's kind of rusty, but the other side shouldn't be because I just ran it up and down, up and down, up and down. And every time I did, I'd hit a section of the belt that itself had gotten really dirty. And I could just see stuff flying off of it as I pushed the tongue past it. So, I'll give you an example. So, as you can see, I've got this out like this. So, I've got it cleared to the point now where I can run it all the way to the end. And then run it all the way down to about where my fingers are. And then it gets stuck. So, this section of the belt is really dirty. It probably would not hurt at all to steam these belts to clean them so that you have more clearance right here, which will allow the belt to move easier. But this one is now smoothly moving over the size of an individual that would be sitting in this middle seat. So it's good to go. That brings us to our dude over here, which we got to get fixed so we can use the front passenger. Let's see if we can't pop it up with a screwdriver. Oh, I heard something. Yeah, it's gummed up pretty good. Let's hit it with some PB. Let's see here. do that you don't really have any play at all so probably need two hands to work on this but we need to pop it up and then just move it in and out in and out in and out to lubricate all the sticky points and then we'll switch to lithium grease and then we'll see if we can insert the tongue get it to work all right, so this came out. Don't know what it is. But this actually came out of the passenger buckle, or the receptacle anyway. So help to get that out. Now this one's kind of in the same boat now as the driver, where you've got some spring. It won't come all the way up, but I can very easily just Pop it up now with a screwdriver, whereas before I could not. And most importantly, so you can see there's a bit of rust that's coming off the, the buckle there. Tongue, that's rust that's coming out of the inside of the buckle, so I may cycle this a little more. But now you can see that you can plug it in. It stays tight. It'll release nice and easy, even though the button doesn't come all the way up. The latch works just fine. So this is now safe to use. And I will probably wipe all that rust off and I'll cycle it a few more times, see if I can get any more junk out of there. What I really need to do is hit this with some air, but Right now, this truck's not running, and I don't have a way to get air down here. At least not, not at the drop of a hat. But once I get this into my service bay, I'll probably come back and hit these with air and a little more lube and see if that helps. But the bottom line is, after, this is an 01, so after 20 years of hard service, the places where people sat a lot, which is basically up front, uh, they're just worn out. They're getting towards the end of their life. And uh, I'll just, I'll have to replace it eventually because all this is on this side is there's a, I think it's a Torx Plus, but it's a T50. So to get access to it, you might just be able to slide the seat back, take it out, put the new one in, tighten the crap out of it, done. So 
replacing these is not hard. I just don't want to put the money into it right now. And also, as we're about to work on in the second part of this video, these seat rails are frozen solid. So we got to work on that. Okay, moving on to the seats. So what I've done so far here, just kind of zoom out of a sense. As I came over here to where the rail actually is, see how it looks like bull's horns up there? So behind those bull's horns, right about there, I took my PB, since it's on a, uh, has a straw, and I sprayed on either side here, and then on the other side. Then, on this bigger, broader channel back here, I sprayed down in there, and I've done that on both sides in the front. And then, I've tilted the seat as far forward as I think it'll go, which I think is just vertical. I'm not super familiar with the tilt options on the F-Series trucks. This is my first one I've ever owned. But I've got a little bit of tilt going on so that we can try to get access from the back. Kind of spray some stuff. I don't mind. See, it looks like my, the juice I shot got all the way down here. So I'm not worried about this side. I'm going to let this sit for a second. And then I'm going to lift actuation little actuation bar which comes in back here as you can see right there you see the plastic liner right there and the little price tag looking thing when you lift the bar up front to slide that's where it's actually doing the work this is the other end of the lever so i'm going to hit that with some juice as well some pb blaster and then let that sit and then take a seat and then just start sliding with everything I got. See if I can't break this loose. Once we have it broken loose, then we'll come in with some lithium grease and we'll lube the tracks best we can. And uh, hopefully that'll keep things fixed for a while. Okay, guys, I'm back. Figured out what was going on. Uh, the passenger seat was completely rusted solid. I had to get my brother to push from behind. But after lubing everything, letting it sit, and then him giving it a healthy push with his legs, and I was up, I had the rod up, it slid forward. And then I used the headache machine over there and uh, slid it back and forth, back and forth, so the lubes worked in. And now the passenger seat slides fine. And the driver's seat... I know you can't really tell, but driver's seat slides fine. I'm assuming because this was mostly just one person, a driver, so it never rusted up, but it's sliding fine. The passenger is now sliding fine. All of the seat belts are now working. May not be the prettiest looking aesthetically, but the safety feature, the safety mechanism is working. So even though I have to do that to pop it up and make it look pretty, when I push in the tongue, it locks and it's a functioning seat belt again, which is what I was trying to do. So all in all, I would consider this a successful repair. And I am now officially 21 cents richer. I found those whenever I slid the seats forward. And I found that. That's all going in the trash can. Former owners seem to be a pin collector because I must have found about 50 of them back here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video, which was kind of a theme of unstick all the things. We fixed the receptacles for all the seat belts in the front of my 2001 F-250. We also unstuck the passenger uh, seat slider so we can now adjust the seat forward and backward. That helps to make sure that your seat belt's going to fit correctly. So that is a safety feature. I'm happy to report we got them all fixed. So if you learned something here, like, share, subscribe, tell your buddies and your friends. That helps grow the channel. That also hopefully will allow me to monetize this eventually so I can bring in more projects like this, which are just for fun versus utility, which is what this is going to be. 
Also, please leave comments. I do love reading them. Sometimes you guys look at my videos and say, hey, you could have done it this way. It's like, oh, I could have done it that way. And uh, I read them all, and I reply to just about every single one of them. And uh, I enjoy interacting with you guys. So please keep them coming. And lastly, I make the mistakes so that you don't have to. I'll see you guys next episode.